I'm Peggy Guidebug, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a free program called Zoom. It's a virtual room, and you can use it for things like webinars, e classes, hanging out with your friend, whatever. It's similar to Skype or FaceTime, but you can use it on your PC um, or your Mac, I'm pretty sure, and on an iPad or iPhone. And there may be a few other things that I'm just not aware of, probably Android or something. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to use the PC version of Zoom. And uh, you can record and screen share and all that cool stuff. It's really helpful. It's free. It lasts for 40 minutes for free. And you have 25 people in it. If you want to have more people, more room, or whatever, they're going to need um, to upgrade and you have to pay. But, you know, I'm a free kind of person. So let's hop into this. Okay, so here we are in a Zoom room, or the big Zoom room. Uh, I'm just showing you how to do this. So, this is what a screen, what a screen will look like, approximately. And, you can, it's red, if you click this microphone looking thing, it'll mute your mic so other people can't hear your background noise. Which, if you're in a meeting, you'll probably want to do that, unless you're out, like, discussing. If there's, like, a ton of people, you probably want to mute your mic audio you can uh, you hear the computer art you can test your mic or have automatically use the computer audio when you join a meeting which is what I used to do you can go over to dial in and you can dial one of these numbers and it'll give you the instructions or you can just see my dial in by phone video but anyway so you can dial in here one of these numbers will give you instructions, you type in the meeting ID when it tells you to, and the the ID if you're already on the computer. Or you can just dial in and, you know, you can watch other videos. But anyway, if you click on your camera, then it will turn off your camera. Click on your camera, the camera button. Um, you can go over to settings, and you can look at the settings for video, for your audio, you can test your mic and stuff. Um, you can check all these different preferences and the feedback, recording, upgrade to pro. We're not going to go over those though. You go over to invite, then you can, you'll see something like this. And it might be a little bit different. And you can copy URL, so then you paste. Um, control V, by the way, is paste. Then you can, um, other, others, when you email it to them, will be able to click on that link to be able to join the meeting. You can also copy invitation. Um, that will give them instructions on how to join not stuff. Participants, you'll be able to see there are more people in the room. You'd see more people in the room. And you can raise your hand and the host will be notified. You can rename yourself. And um, a host would have a lot more uh, information, a lot more power. <laughs> they can rename the participants and mute the participants on stuff. But as a, just a regular participant, you won't have that kind of power. Then you can uh, share your screen as long as someone else isn't already sharing their screen. And you choose which screen you want to share. You can share your, um, you know, your web browser, whatever it is you have open. I usually just share my desktop because that just shares everything that I have on my computer um, or whatever I'm looking at my focus is. And you can share a screen only or you can share a screen with computer sound. You can share with computer sound. Then if you're watching a video, people can not only see it, but they can also hear your sound that you're hearing on your computer. So you can watch a video together. I like to do that with my friends sometimes. Okay, so click desktop, and this is my desktop, and if there were more people in the room, you'd see um, more videos or cams or whatever right here. And... You can hover up here and then hover over more. If you click pause, then it'll pause your screen sharing. You can, you know, type in a password or whatever and then play and they it'll just stay frozen at what it's at. So let's see what it does this and I paused it. I could go check my email and come back and you wouldn't be able to tell because it would be kind of freezing it. You can share a new window and uh, I think I'm going to show you that in just a second. There's basically the same thing as um, screen share but without having to stop sharing and Reshare to share a new window, like if you're in PowerPoint and you want to share your web browser, 
that's what you have to do before that's a new update from Zoom. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, so you can manage participants, chat, record, disable attendee annotation. So normally um, attendees can just draw on your screen, but you can disable that. You can hide video panel, so the video panel is gone. Check your um, audio and the meeting off. Mute your mic, stop your video. Then, so if you share a new window, you can choose whichever new window you want to share. So if you want to annotate, this will pop out, pop, pop up, sorry. <laughs> um, mouse, and I think that that's just normal. Draw, you can draw different things on there, and I'll just show you an example. So let's say you click draw, then you can, it'll look something like this, and you can clear your drawing. And then there's a spotlight, and spotlight's pretty cool. It'll look something like this, and you can go, oops, and click on different things. Um, you can go over to eraser and erase different stuff. Um, you can undo, review, clear all, all that stuff. So that's pretty cool, and then others can generally do that in yours unless you can disable attendee annotation. So that's how to share your screen. Um, you go over to chat. If there were other participants, it would show them in the list over here. And you could click on their name and it would send them a private chat so that no one else would see your chat. Um, and you could just type in right here and it'll send it to everybody. And then you can record. And if you want to record, you'll have to make sure you have space in your computer because I know some people that don't have space enough in their computer to save a recording. So you need to make sure you have plenty of space in your computer, um, which I don't usually have a problem with that. Um, so if you record afterwards, it might ask you to um, find a place in your computer where you want to save the recording. And you can also, under settings, I think it is, click, yes, I want to choose a place where I save my recordings after every meeting, or I want to keep it in the same place. Um, and I usually keep it in the same place under my Zoom folder. And so when you're recording, it'll look something like this. You got recording, record, or whatever. And then you can download it on your computer afterwards, and then you'll be able to send it out if it's not too large of a recording. Then you'll be able to send it out and everyone else can see it. So that's how to use Zoom in a very quick version. And I hope this is helpful to you. And please leave a comment before, below, sorry, if you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Techie Guidebook. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this has been very helpful for you. And please remember to subscribe here. See you next time on YouTube.